Michael Diceberg Gaming here in today's Vampire Survivors Guide. I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock the secret character Avatar Infernus. So this one is this secret here. It is intangible. It is, yeah, intangible only in the inverted library. Good friends might show the way. Now we know from last time that the good friends are the two birds, the Pichon and the Ebony Wings. Now to make this easy on myself, I am going to be using my big trouser who has uh, 140,000 eggs. So he's going to wipe everything very easily. Uh, so your mileage may vary. You might not have be find this as easy as me, but look at this guy's stats. Holy cow. Anyways, we're going to take him and we want to go to Infer uh, Inver In Inverted Library. And I'm going to go ahead and turn Arcanus on, and we'll go ahead and do Endless, just in case we, we don't want to run out of time. I don't think we will, but you never know. And uh, maybe I'll stick around and farm gold after anyway. We'll see. But we need to. the only thing you need to make this happen is the Inverse Library. Now we are in right away, and for my first weapon here, I get the choice. I'm going to take the Greatest Jubilee, because this is my gold farming weapon of choice. And now, uh, this doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go ahead and take Wicked Season. And then we want the Ebony Wings. And I'm going to go ahead and re-roll until I get the Pigeon. There it is. And then uh, I'll just fill this out with my standard gold farming um, things here. Uh, in addition to the Pigeon. I'm actually not going to take Toronto's Box or Curse this time. Because uh, I want to keep the, the map... A little bit more clear so that I can kind of see what's going on but other than that we're just gonna take our usual gold farming stuff here and I'm also not gonna take the, the stone mask uh, the stone mask here because I can pick that up off the ground here in the library and now this is uh, very important here so the vandalier does not count as the good friend so now that I've got I've got maxed out Pigeon and level 7 Ebony Wings. I'm going to go ahead and banish the Ebony Wings so that we cannot max out our Ebony Wings and we so it will not evolve into Vandalier. I'm also taking Wings, which I normally do not do, but uh, we have to go far, far to the right on this one. So uh, we need the Speed Bonus, and I just got rid of my Speed Bonus from eggs see my guide if you want to know how to do that now that i finally got through all that we need to head to the right and we need to go way far to the right we need to go all the way past the gold ring here so way over there we're gonna we're gonna grab the mask along the way but we need to get past the ring here so it's gonna be a bit of a hike and we made it to our mask and i'm gonna go ahead and grab this now note this does not matter for unlocking the character but i'm always farming gold so we'll go ahead and grab it and we have made it past the gold ring so we're going to keep going until we see a mob called the trickster in front of a piano and i think i just found him and killed him i think he was right here uh i don't know if you can see it on the screen a lot of stuff going on here but um right where i'm pointing the fireball i think is where he was and uh he's kind of dead now i think so i think that's the piano I gotta turn this sound off. It's driving me crazy. Alright, that's better. Okay. I'm gonna wait for this uh, gold fever to go away so I can actually see what I'm doing now. Okay, so now we need to interact with this piano. Let's see if we can get that done. Alright, here we go. So now the pigeons are gonna tell us what please keys to click. So the keys that we need to click are the second white key, and then the sixth white key, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the fifth black, one, two, three, four, five, and then the first black.
And there we go, we have done it. So basically just follow the birds. Now we are in this dark area here, a little bit of lag. Uh, we need to open these coffins to find the avatar. Man, every time I interact with my recording software, it gets all laggy. So I apologize for this lagginess. There's really nothing I can do about it right now. But anyways, we're going to go up here and check this coffin. And hopefully interact with it. It might be too laggy. I shouldn't have brought my big trouser to this. Well, he either wasn't in that coffin or I just killed him instantly. So just keep checking the coffins until you find the boss. Okay, so you sh you'll see a little word empty pop up when it's not the right coffin. I actually saw it this time. So we are on the last coffin. And either he was in the very first coffin and we killed him instantly without even seeing him. Or he'll be in the last coffin. So we'll get through this lag a little bit here. And then we'll go ahead and open this last coffin. This is a really big area. Doesn't look like it on the map, but it is. All right, here we go. And something's happening. Something's happening. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Okay. Thank you, Big Trouser, but the vampire is another coffin. Okay. And, sorry, I turned the sound off because it was driving me crazy, but there we go. Avatar Infernus has joined the survivors. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the video helpful. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Is this sending me back to the main stage now? Let's find out. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a white death. Ah! <laughs> okay. So, that ends our revive. I don't really need to revive. Is, can I quit? Is it not going to let me just quit? I have to use all my revives. All right. Well, I have a lot of revives, so this might take a while. And I can't move, and it won't let me quit the game manually. So I guess I'm going to be stuck here for a minute. So I'll catch up with you guys when this ends. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and unlock them. Note, do not use a character with a huge amount of eggs, or you might get stuck with something like this, like I am. So I just went ahead and force uh, force quit the game and uh, got back to the main menu here. So now we whoops, and now we're gonna go in here and we can buy him with uh, thirty five ninety six coins. Starts with extra arcana, heart of fire, grows stronger with every level, but also loses control. Now loses control means that he uh, gains speed. So that's what that means. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, uh, maybe you guys want to see him in action. Uh, uh, let me turn the options sound back on here. And let's give him a try. So we'll do... Um, we'll just do a standard run here with Avatar. Uh, turn Arcanus in inverse and regular. All this stuff uh, normal. And we'll go into the library. And let's see what he does. So he starts with this extra Arcanus uh, Heart of Fire, which causes things to explode. And uh, to go with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and take Beginning, because our weapon that he starts with seems to get affected by that. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Um, okay, so he shoots out a little bit of fire. I'm going to take Garlic for a little bit of safety while we figure this out here. Okay, it's short range. Uh, I'm not super impressed by this weapon so far. But anyways, that's the character. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I said this three times now. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.